today's video topic is your vibe attracts your tribe I right? I believe I made a video on this past my bad in the past like this before so we're gonna talk about this shit one more time man this shit's gonna help you right it's gonna help you gravitate towards more positive people especially during these times so listen your vibe attracts your tribe now listen Everything in life is energy, frequency, vibration. Right? Energy, frequency, and what? Vibration, right? So knowing that everything is energy, frequency, vibration. Those are the secrets of the universe, right? So your vibe attracts your tribe. So in this life, the universe is responding to who you are, right? Cold truth. The universe is responding to who you are. And I mean that on every level. So, your lifestyle, what you do, who you are, your energy is what's going to reciprocate and show in this reality because you are a magnetic being. Everything you want and desire is within you. So, there's two powers in this life. You can manifest with demonic energy, you can manifest with positive energy. It depends on what type of spirit you have, right? Your vibe attracts, attracts your tribe. So, anybody who's not on the same frequency vibration, right? Anyone who's not on the same energy level as you, that's not your tribe. Hear me out now, this could be family, friends, that's not your tribe, bro. It's all energy at the end of the day. It's all vibration. It's all spiritual. It's all spirits, right? Vibrating at certain frequencies. So your vibe attracts your tribe. Those who are on the same frequency as you are the ones you're gonna resonate with the most. A lot of y'all feel like we family. That's because we is. We're on the same vibration. That's your tribe because your tribe will be on the same level of vibration as you. And they will most likely do exactly everything you do. They might meditate. They probably wear crystals, right? They probably eat healthy. They may be vegan. They probably ground themselves in nature. They do everything. You feel me? So if your vibe... It's different from theirs. You're not going to what? Vibe with them. If their lifestyle is not like yours, you may not vibe with them. Because you are who you attract. The universe is legitimately within you. You are God. Experiencing itself. I want y'all to understand how deep this shit is. You are who you attract. If you are a good person, loving, caring person, you're high vibrational, you work out, etc. Life is only going to mirror who you are, bro. This is the facts. That's how this universe is, G. Life is only going to mirror who you are. You get what I'm saying? Yes, you can manifest greatness with negativity. That's true, but it's always some drawbacks. You can manifest greatness with positivity. But during these times, positivity is gonna have more of an advantage because we're no longer living in a positive world. Like, hear me out. We're no longer living in a low vibrational world. The earth is changing. The sun is changing everything. It's changing us. It's making us more high vibrational. So, you can still try to manifest doing negativity, but it ain't gonna be as strong, as potent as a light warrior like myself. So it's gonna be a lot easier for individuals like me and you, the chosen one, high vibrational spiritual beings to manifest and get what we want. Women, positive people, 
positive lifestyle, positive house, you know, just an abundant of things. Because it's our time now. So your vibe attracts your tribe, G. You are who you hang around. So if you're doing and still living the same lifestyle that these people are doing, that's your vibe. But when you try to better yourself or elevate those who are not elevating with you, because it's levels to life, it's levels to spirituality, you're not going to resonate with them. You're going to be on a whole nother level, a whole nother thought process. So it's all mental, it's all spiritual, it's all physical. Your lifestyle, your daily habits is what's going to dictate who you attract, bruh. Because look, even though I'm talking about spirituality, you don't have to be spiritual. It's a lot of people who work out day in, day out, but they still got a high vibrational life. You feel me? So me, I could vibe with somebody who ain't necessarily spiritual, but they understand manifestation. They understand magic, wisdom. They understand vibration, shit like that, but they don't do everything they do do everything I do, they just work out all the time, you feel me? Their vibration is still that on the same frequency because spirituality will teach you like, life is just reflecting who you are, bro. It really is, like, because the universe is inside of you, dog. The universe is working through you, dog. You know how they say God is working through you? Bro, the universe is legitimately seeking and expressing itself through you, bro. Everybody, negative or positive. So you are God, bro. God is expressing itself through you. So what you're experiencing in your life is a reflection of who you are. Shitty women, shitty life, shitty apartment, <laughs> shitty results, because it's all you. You get what I'm saying? Everything is energy, frequency, and vibration. It is. If you want a positive life, you got to do positive shit for yourself. You got to do positive things for you. You feel me? If you want a positive woman, you can't be no negative nigga because you ain't going to get that. Because life and the universe is reflecting who you are. You are what you attract. Your vibe attract, attracts your tribe. So if you're living a high vibrational life, like me, it's only inevitable that you manifest greatness. But it's all on you, though. Because God, right, the universe is within you. The universe is seeking or expressing itself through you. Because you are the damn universe in physical form. That's what they want. That's what the government and shit won't tell you. The universe is inside of you, bitch. So you have to start taking care of yourself if you want to see positive changes happen in your life. Everybody can't raise their vibration. Everybody can't do what me and you do. That's why only a select few people make it and achieve greatness. Because in this life, to raise your vibration is pretty hard. It's pretty hard to raise your vibration for real, for real, because it takes a lot of sacrificing. It takes a lot of letting go. Because you gotta let go to grow. You must go without to grow. That's the only way. And a lot of people in this life aren't willing to do that, which is why they still have a shitty lifestyle, a shitty life. That's why everything that happens to them is like negative. It's not predestined. It's not by divine timing. It's by like luck. They barely have any good things coming into their life because they're so negative eternally, internally. They're so negative, bro. Their lifestyle is negative. Now, I'm not talking about just eating meat, just everything they do, bro. If you smoke weed every day, if you masturbate every day, if you don't learn, like, that's negative, bro. Because the universe wants you to learn and grow. That's what you came here to do. So if you aren't even doing that, even demons, demonic people who do witchcraft, they're actually pretty smart. They know what me and you know, right? Maybe more, because that's their polarity. Demonic people can manifest greatness. Yes. Just how I can manifest greatness, this is my path. I'm on the righteous side, I'm an angel. But demons can manifest greatness too. 
because they understand that the universe is within them as well, right? Because God is everything. You get what I'm saying? So even people who do witchcraft, right? That's just a different polarity, right? I'm on the positive polarity. I meditate, I sun gaze, I get in nature. I do things that's going to help my vessel. They do things that's going to deteriorate their vessel. So it's pluses and minuses to this shit. But I'm just telling you, you can do wicked and manifest greatness, but it's always a price to something. It's always a sacrifice to something. You get what I'm saying? I'm sacrificing shit right now. I'm celibate right now. So what does that mean? I'm sacrificing what? Pleasure for what? Riches, success, abundance. That's my deal with the universe. Their deal with the universe is maybe to ejaculate, right? Spill their sexual energy and use it to manifest certain things. It's all, it's pluses and minuses to this shit. You feel me? It's a choice. So other than that, I want y'all to understand, you are what you attract. You are who you hang around. If you're a millionaire, you're gonna attract millionaires. If you're successful, you're only gonna hang around successful people. You're not gonna hang around low lives. That's how this shit is. So if you wanna to get to the next level, you must surround yourself with individuals who are trying to do what you do. Or if they're not doing what you're trying to do, you take the solo path. Only a select few of men and women make it for real. Only a select few because I waited for that. Only a select few of men and women wake, make it because what? Their vibration. Vibration is the real superpower, bro. Because you are a magnetic being. I want you to understand that you are always attracting shit to you, bro. Based on what you say, what you think, what you do, what you eat. So your lifestyle, what you think, what you speak every day, what you put inside your body, bro, that shit plays a role in what's gonna happen to you in this life, man. So if you ain't working on yourself, if you're doing things that's destroying your vessel because the universe is responding to what you're doing to your body. Deep, isn't it? I'm telling y'all the keys. The universe is only going to mirror who you are. I swear to God. Why do you think demonic people, people who do witchcraft, they only hang around motherfuckers who do witchcraft or they hang around motherfuckers who are demonic, wicked? Why do you think that is? Because the universe is mirroring who they are. Facts. And during these times, God is making it easier for you to figure out who's for you, who like you, this, that, and the third. Right? My bad. So it's damn near impossible for you to not find who's for you and who ain't for you. It's impossible. So God is making shit easier for everybody to figure out who they supposed to be around, who they supposed to vibrate with, who they supposed to connect with, who they supposed to elevate with, who they supposed to grow with. God is making it so much easier so nobody can fuck around and link with the wrong people and it be some bullshit because nah, God is giving all of us who are awakened to this truth the ability to see. Even the demons can see. Even the demons can see, right? Because the spiritual realm is merging. So you're gonna be able to see everything. You're gonna see people, you're gonna know what's wrong with people. I can look at somebody and tell you if they're gay or not. And I'm not saying based off of Like How they walk Nah You gotta understand Any hidden or ulterior motives Will get exposed So A lot of people are undercover And during these times I swear to God You can look at a person And tell He's secretly gay I can't make this shit up G No one can hide who they are anymore bro My bad Y'all seen that lag shit Y'all gonna see it in the video but no one can hide who they are. If you're hiding that you're an undercover faggot, right? Individuals like me and those who have the eyes to see can see that you're hiding that. I swear to God, cuz God is legitimately doing this shit. He's exposing everybody, bro. So if I'm a murderer or some shit, just not saying that I am that. 
just throwing an example. So if I am not who I say I am, like I'm telling y'all, oh, I'm straight, but I'm hiding that I'm a faggot, you'll know. I swear to God, like I'll be on the ground, bruh. I can look on the Instagram right now and look at a nigga and his energy that's responding to my spirit will tell me that he's undercover, bro, because he's hiding it. God is doing this, bro. This shit is crazy. Like I said, if somebody's planning something behind your back, you're gonna know, bro. Because God is not allowing anyone to do any fuck shit. It's either you gonna come correct or you ain't gonna come correct at all. You're gonna get exposed. You get what I'm saying? So basically, what I love about these times, right? That's why I say you have no choice but to face yourself, face your demons, love yourself, look deep into yourself, admit your wrongs, bro, because you cannot hide who you are anymore, right? If I'm somebody I'm not, I promise to God, I will get exposed, bro, even me. So that's why I'm just keeping a fucking buck 50 with people, a buck 50 with myself. I'm not hiding nothing, should go nothing, because I can't no more. <laughs> Trust me, if I'm a demonic, if I do any of that shit, you niggas will know. And I don't do that. I'm just throwing an example. Like, you cannot hide, bro. Like, I, I could look at a nigga Instagram. He could have been hiding it, bro. You can't hide who you are. That's what God is doing, bro. God is making it to where you, you should have no problem knowing who is who. And when you look at that person, you could tell if there's something wrong with them. Their health. You could look at a person's health. You can look at their energy. Their energy will tell you it's something going on with this individual. They're sick. I swear to God, bro. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. I can just look at people and tell that there's something going on with that person. You feel me? It's, it's kind of scary, but it's God-like. You feel me? Because you cannot hide anymore, bro. Like, I swear to God, cuz. Like, that shit is crazy. Like, it's people who undercover brothers. And I'm looking on the fucking ground. And my fucking intuition keeps saying, he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. Because you know why? He's hiding it. I swear to God, bro. And I'm not trying to... I'm just telling you how this shit is, bro. So if somebody is hiding who they are, you're gonna know who they are anyway. You feel me? God is doing that. The sun and the sky is doing that, bro. I'm not who I, who I say I am. I'm an alien, bro. An extraterrestrial. I'm an angel, bro. If I'm not that, you would know. I am that, though. Y'all know it. But yeah, this shit real, cuz. No one can hide. I could just look at a person right now. And it's like, I know everything that's going on with that person. Health-wise, physically-wise, spiritually. I know everything that's going on with them. That shit is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I swear to God, like, you can't hide who you are anymore during these times. I swear to God, God did this on purpose. That's why a lot of people is having a hard time look at themselves in the mirror because they are seeing something they don't like in themselves. I swear to God. That's what this shit is, bro. It's judgment day. Are you comfortable in your skin? Do you know who you are? Do you accept yourself? A lot of people is looking in the mirror and is not liking what they are seeing, bro, and it's scaring them. Because during these times, you cannot hide from yourself. You fear me on God. That's what this shit is. You cannot hide from yourself. Fear me? It's deep, isn't it? You cannot hide from yourself no more, bro. If you undercover, you undercover, bro. If you a transgender, you a transgender. I'm just throwing examples. But that's what this shit is. God is making people reveal who they truly are. Right? God is making people accept who they are. And if they don't, they're going to be tormented for life. That's what this shit is, bro. And I love it. Because it's like, I can't hide either. So it's like, if I'm around this bitch capping, I'm going to get exposed anyway. So that's why I'm not even finna fake it with nobody. You feel me? If I am hiding something, I will get exposed. You feel me? So I'm not even finna hide nothing. I am who I am. That shit crazy, cuz. So anyone hiding who they are is gonna get exposed anyway. I'm telling you, bruh. I'm looking at people on the ground, bro. And my intuition is telling me he's an undercover brother. And it's okay. 
but that's what this shit is. The age of Aquarius is about the truth, bro. Motherfuckers is afraid of who they are. Yeah. Motherfuckers is not able to look in the mirror during these times because, why? Because they don't like what they're seeing. The truth has to come out. This is you. Look in the mirror, bro. Right. I'm telling you. So listen, your vibe attracts your tribe, bro. You feel me? I'm. You guys have no idea how mind blowing this shit is to me. Like, if you were, if you, and I'm not, bro. If you are legitimately. Bro, if you are legitimately hiding who you are, you will you will get exposed. You cannot hide if you are undercover brother, bro. It don't matter if you dress fresh, bro. I'm looking at these rappers, cuz they're fags. <laughs> like it's like their energy is telling you they're hiding who they're they are, bro. That's what God is doing, making people be exposed for who they are. And I love it, and it's. It's blowing my mind every day how I'm just looking at people and I know exactly what's going on with them. I looked at a woman inside of Dollar General and my intuition told me this lady, she just beat cancer. Real shit. So, everything and everybody is getting exposed. I could look at a female page and I know she like me, bro. Because, bro, you cannot hide. The truth only can come out during these times. I swear to God, bro. On God, bro. You can't hide that you don't like me. You can't hide that you do like me. You feel me? It's Bro, this shit is crazy, bro. That's why I say God is like... And you believe what you want to believe. I know the ultimate truth. But God is making it to where it's like... The truth only has to come out. So, bro, I, I could just look at a female on Instagram. She may act like she don't see me. I promise you, that bitch like me, bro. Fear me on God, bro. So that shit is mind blowing. I'm gonna wrap this shit up, man. I hope y'all know during these times you cannot hide who you are, bro. We see you. Fear me, you can't hide that shit, bro. If you if you doing some funny shit behind closed doors, and I mean that not just the gay shit, I mean that on every level. If you're around here murdering people, just throw an example, bro. I swear to God, we will see you. On God, bro. On God. Nobody can hide who they are. So motherfuckers is literally, and you know it's deep. A YouTuber I watched 2020 said this shit. She said, coming into 2021, a lot of you guys aren't going to like what you are seeing in the mirror. She said that. She said that. She said that, bro. And now I'm starting to realize, like, motherfuckers ain't facing themselves. Motherfuckers ain't trying to come out. Motherfuckers ain't trying to... It's, it's, it's deep, bro. I swear to God, cuz, like... And it's okay. I'm not here to judge nobody. But this shit real, bro. During these times, you have no choice but to accept and be yourself, bro. Because you're going to get tormented by the demons, bro. I'm telling you, God is interesting, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, cuz, you cannot hide who you are anymore, bro. I could look at anybody right now and I know everything about that person. And I'm not talking about anything they're hiding from me. I promise to God. I promise to God I'm going to know, bro. The spiritual realm. I'm telling you, cuz, woman in the uh, Dollar General, she recently beat cancer, bro. I, I knew that because that's what she was hiding. You feel me? Obviously, you, you got to understand, like... And I'ma wrap this shit up. I'm just so mind blown, bro. Like, I'm just looking at people and you just know, bro. Like, you feel me? It's to the point where you gotta just keep it real with yourself. If you can't do that, you're gonna be tormented, bro. You feel me? I swear to God, bro. Like, if you're trying to plot on me, or just an example, if you're trying to plot on anybody and they like me living in this high dimensional vibration, I promise to God we're gonna see you, bro. And we're gonna expose you. If you hide in who you are, People gonna see you, dog. That's what God is doing. No one can hide nothing, bro. So if somebody don't like you, I swear to God, cuz it don't matter what a bitch say, what a nigga say. You will know 
if a female like you, you will know because she can't hide it. Like, you know how females don't want you to know? It's impossible. Like, if I like you, you'll know if I like you. If I don't like you, you'll know. Like, this shit crazy how this time's in, man. God know what he doing, boy. So listen, keep it real with yourself. Your vibe attracts your tribe. So, y'all boys need to really, y'all boys better look in that damn mirror, mirror. Cause a lot of y'all don't like what y'all seeing in that damn mirror. Trust me, if you don't look in that mirror and face and embrace who you are, and you hiding who you is, I know it's the hardest thing to do. I made a video saying why niggas will be mad at me and you for healing ourselves. Because these people is getting tormented. They're getting tormented, bro. I'm telling you, the demons in them, the sins, they're hiding who they are from the world. Me and you ain't hiding who we are no more. This is us right now, me and you, our spirits, right? These people is hiding who they are from the world and they, they can't stand it because during these times, God is making you be you. If you don't be you, you're gonna get tortured out here, bro. You're gonna be tormented by the, these demons. I swear to God, cause this is some phenomenal times we living in, bro. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> That shit just, bro, I had made a couple videos about this shit yesterday, cause that shit is phenomenal. Like, no one can hide nothing, bro. If you trying to do something to me, I swear to God, I know. On God, bro. So it's like, you can't even plot on nobody no more, bro. It's either you just, <laughs> you could, but you're hiding it. So you just better say, oh, I'm finna do this. Like, I swear to God, like, this times, it's it's only gonna get increased. It's gonna come point in time where you have no choice but to keep it 100, bro. Well, you ain't, gonna, you ain't gonna have to keep it 100, but just don't think nobody like me ain't gonna see you. Feel me? So, dog, that shit is crazy, bro. A lot of people is suffering eternally. They're scared to be who they are. If you an undercover brother, come out and say that. If you a transgender on the low, come out and say that, you know? I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. No, I'm just telling you to help you, bro. Because God is making it to where you have no choice but to be you. And a lot of people is not realizing that they're getting tormented, bro. Because they're not being true to who they are. That's what this shit is, bro. It's judgment, bro. Do you, do you really love yourself? Do you accept yourself, fam? I don't give a fuck what you did, bro. Feel me? That's what this shit is. So those individuals who haven't healed, those individuals who are hiding, who they really are to the world are getting tormented, bro. They can't even walk around and look people in the eyes, fam. Because the demons, the sun in the sky is showing them, this is you, this is you. Why aren't you being you? I'm telling you, cuz. And they're getting tormented, bro. They're getting tormented. Because God is making them and it's irritating them. Like, listen, why aren't you being who you are to the core? Why are you trying to hide who you are? I swear to God, cuz, so this shit crazy. I'm so dumbfounded by this shit, G. No wonder this Great Awakening had me healing. A lot of y'all was here. I, I got two videos talking about that shit. But that's what this shit was for. So you can walk around this bitch in your truth, nigga. I'm telling you, cuz, that's what's happening. It's only gonna get worse. So if you nigga, if, if y'all not keeping, keeping it real with y'all selves, if y'all aren't keeping it real with y'all selves, y'all gonna have a hard time adjusting to this new energy because this energy is literally exposing everyone for who they are. No one can hide nothing no more, cuz. And if you hiding who you are from the world, guess what? You're gonna suffer. So this is a message to those who are hiding who they are from everybody. Be you. Just be you, bruh. Who cares? It's judgment day. Be you. I know somebody needed to hear this shit. Be you, bro. That's the realest thing you can do during these times is just be yourself, bro. It's not worth hiding who you are. I'm telling you, man. If you keep hiding who you is, bro, God is going to torment your ass, fam. I'm starting to understand that this is really judgment day, bro. Because it is. So you just got to be you out here, bro. Whatever that means for you. You feel me? Accept yourself, bro. Because if not, the demons in you, the sun is going to keep 
amplifying and tormenting your ass, bro. Everybody has no choice but to be who they are, bro. If you a demon, you a demon, bro. Embrace it. Stop trying to hide it. If you an angel, that's who you are. Be an angel. Walk around here. Because you have no choice but to be yourself. No choice. If you don't be yourself, you're going to suffer for real. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, your vibe attracts your fucking tribe, man. But yo, <laughs> are any of you guys experiencing this shit? <laughs> God is making it to where you have no choice But to be you If you're a woman watching this video If you like girls and you hiding that shit And this should help you Be you Accept yourself man Accept yourself before anybody else do bro That's what God is That's what God is making everybody do Or he's trying to make everybody do that Because if you don't accept yourself And you still hiding who you is You're gonna be tormented for a long time for the rest of your life because you're not being who you are you get what i'm saying so if you whatever you guys are hiding like you're hiding that you're somebody you're not stop you are hurting yourself bro you can't even sleep knowing you hiding who you is bro you feel me <laughs> be yourself no matter what it is so you can be happy be yourself, bro. Accept yourself. Love who you are. That's what God is showing us. That's what I'm realizing. You have to be you out here. If you don't be you, you're not going to love who you are, bro. Swear to God, bro. Because, man, I could just look at Bro, I'm on the ground, bro. Like, I'm talking about... Cub, if you're hiding who you are, I promise you, I will know who you are to the core, bro. I swear to God, if you hiding something from me, like you finna do this, I'll know. Cause this shit real, cuz. I can't make this shit up. People are hiding who they really are to the core. Be you. Because if you don't be you, you can't sleep. God is making it to where no one can hide nothing, fam. I swear to God, bro. So, hopefully this shit help one of y'all accept yourselves. I'm not against nothing. You know? It's, it's a reason why God is revealing this shit. The realest thing you can do during these times is be you. If you can't be, up, be you out here, 